when you want something, does God just say, oh, no worries, here it is, bang? Well, actually, God does do that. <laughs> so most, but most of you don't feel that. Why don't you feel that? Because there's emotions that prevent you from truly asking for a start. But God actually gives everything based on desire, and it has to be pure desire. Right? Now, often what happens with us is that we, we, we don't have pure desires, and so therefore when we ask for something, we don't actually get it exactly as we wanted it. When you are in a state where you're at one with God, you'll find that you'll actually ask for something, and because you're in one with God, you'll automatically be asking for something harmonious with love, and because of that, you'll automatically get it straight away, exactly as you wanted it. Now, we need to teach our child that same principle. So how do we go about teaching our child that principle? Let's say a child wants a dog. <coughs> A lot of people say, you hear them say, oh, I bought my child a dog, they really wanted the dog, but they don't look after the dog, I have to look after it. Did the child really want the dog? No. So what do we do as parents? We need to allow them to build their desire, to really build their desire. The way, one way we can do that is remember, we're not their parent either, God is. So what we could do is start doing what we do with God when it comes to exercising our desires. Build our desire talk to God about what we want, what we feel we need in our lives, and exercise a desire for it. That's, what, that's how we get it. So let's do that. Let's encourage our child to do that. So let's say a child wants a dog. So sit down with the child, show it how to pray for a dog. Right? What else does the child need to do? Learn, learn how to care for the dog. So, so what you do is sit down with the child and show it how to find out how to care for a dog. And then ask the child questions like, do you, do you want to do that? Do you want to care for a dog? Remember, it's every day, walking every day, feeding them every day. And the, the dog's going to maybe live for 15 years, 20 years. Do you want to do that for the next 15 or 20 years? Is that really what you want? Yeah, you know. So let them develop that desire. When they have a really complete desire, then... In fact, it's very powerful if then you actually allow the law of attraction to bring them their dog. So in other words, you're not even by it. You actually allow the law of attraction to bring them their dog. And not only, that will teach them so many things. It will teach them firstly that they have complete control over what they get through their desire. Secondly, it will teach them that you don't have to supply any of their needs, that God is already doing all of that, even the things they want. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of good things that that will teach them if you allow them to work through the issue that way. But if you just go out and buy the dog, the instant they have a feeling for one, without them building a desire, a sincere desire for it, what's going to happen? They'll learn that they can just get whatever they want, whatever they want. It. And how many of you then later have regretted that? <laughs> and as parents, I know I have. Right? So often we teach them the wrong thing when it comes to desire as well. So mirror God's treatment of you. So if God treats you a certain way, you treat your children in, a very, in the same way. You want to teach them how to interact with God. 